The story of Gabby Petito and her fiance at the time, Brian Laundry, is now getting its own movie. An upcoming lifetime film based on Gabby's disappearance and death is already in the works. Photographers capturing the starring actors filming an emotional fight scene at a staged campground in the mountains near Salt Lake City. You're not, you're not with me every day because when your phone stop, 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 all right? Fuck, I'm done. I'm done with your shit. Ryan. No, no. On your phone or some shit. Ryan, come on. Uh, are you serious? Are you going to leave me? Our senior national correspondent, Brian Nenton, joining us tonight. Uh, Brian, you and I both know there has always been a lot of interest in this case. Um, so a movie really isn't a surprise, but we're not even a year from when Gabby went missing and she was murdered. So I know it's raising some concern among some that the dust really hasn't settled and there's still legal battles going on around this case. Yeah, there's a lot of people online uh, who have been very vested in this case who say this is just too soon. I mean, even watching um, that video that you just played, it is sort of odd to watch at this stage of things, actors playing out what happened, because you mentioned uh, there's still so much going on. I mean, we just got the notebook on Friday. The civil um, case is, is still pending. Uh, and I was even thinking to myself, you know, they've been filming in Utah now for, for several weeks. We we're told that this movie is likely going to come out at the end of the year. But I wonder if they're going to have to change things because there's been so many developments, Marnie. I mean, just on Friday, we learned so much from The Notebook. Right. I mean, it, it basically changed the whole story if you are to believe what Brian wrote in that notebook. Um, I know you've been in touch with Gabby's family over all of these months. Um, this has to be really hard for them to even know that it's going to be out there in the public. But then to see a scene like this, are they reacting at all yet? So they haven't reacted at all to this news of a movie. Um, we know that they haven't endorsed it. They're not collaborating behind the scenes from what we know. Um, but I will say this, Lifetime was very clear to say that this is going to be part of their Stop Violence Against Women campaign. It's apparently going to be a week-long campaign. Um, so it does seem that they're trying to do this sort of for the greater good. Uh, and hopefully it will bring awareness to um, domestic violence, hopefully to missing people like we're always trying to cover. So I think some good could come out of it. But it, it, it does just feel so soon at the same time. And everyone around this case, Brian, and really since the beginning, have been tight-lipped about the investigation, the evidence. I mean, we're still to this day learning new things, kind of like just trickling out about what exactly happened. Um, are they working directly with anybody who is involved with the case to put this movie on, the FBI, law enforcement, either of the families, not Gabby's, but um, potentially lawyers representing the families? Not that we know of, um, but I would imagine surely they've gone over all the news reports and, and the, uh, you know, the documents that have been released by the FBI, which hasn't been a lot up until this point, to at least hopefully try to make it somewhat realistic. But it's a good question. I mean, how are they going to fill in all the gaps that, that even us who have been covering this so closely don't know? Um, it, it's, it's really interesting to think about. Well, and the motivation, we hope it's for the greater good, but it's entertainment as well. I mean, it's, it's part of the reason that people have been so interested in this case. I think back to last September when we just began to learn that this young woman who was in a van traveling the country with her fiancé was missing, and then we began to learn more and more. And as, as we learn more, so many people began to care about this case. I mean, by the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands across the world, to this day, is the interest the same as it was, especially on social media, as you continue to cover it? You know, I think it is, especially, I realized it especially on Friday when, when the notebook was released. I mean, it was like the interest surged again. And I think the creators of this movie, you know, they have to walk a fine line here. Um, this is a sensitive case and, and we are all very passionate about it and people who have followed this case are very passionate about it. And again, I think if it goes to the greater good, there's of course the Gabby Petito Foundation. I mean, if it's going to help the foundation and help people fight back against domestic violence, that's one thing. If it's purely just entertainment, um, I think that's another thing. Yeah, and this is far from case closed. I mean, there is a civil suit going on between the families, Gabby's parents suing Brian Laundrie's parents, and that right now is before a judge. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we should know. 
Yeah, in the next two weeks, Marty, that's what the judge said at the end of last week. So it could be this week. It, it could be next week. Some people weren't expecting him to say that he'd have it done that quickly. But he's going to issue a ruling about whether the civil case can move forward. Of course, the laundries have been trying to get the case thrown out. Uh, the whole thing is basically the Petito saying that the laundries caused undue pain and suffering with what they went through. Uh, they claim that the laundries uh, knew that Gabby was dead and didn't tell anyone. Uh, it's going to come down to did they have to say something um, or were they legally allowed to stay quiet because their attorney told them to um, and and we expect to get some kind of answer again in the next two weeks right but they continue to live in this nightmare uh, with a film on the horizon uh, Brian Enton will see you tonight for Banfield thanks Marnie thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.